WROI Giant FM, inside the Giant FM morning show. I'm joined now over the phone by FWF <laughs> World Heavyweight Champion, J-Rock Daddy. Welcome to the show, J-Rock. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, right. You're joined over the phone because you were too cheap to fly me into Rochester. But then again, I saw the size of Rochester. I don't blame you. What's up, man? How you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing better than you. I don't live in Rochester, Indiana. How you doing, my well, friend? Well, hey, on. hey, Rochester's a great place to be. I mean, we got a lot of great things going on here. <laughs> I'm sure it is if you're stuck there. I mean, it's like being in prison, right, is if you find the good reasons to like the warden. What's up, man? How you doing today? Are we talking about some wrestling or what? Let's talk wrestling. Uh, you've got an upcoming match here in Rochester this Saturday. So tell me a little bit about that. A little bit about what? About the fact that I actually have to leave my palatial estate here in Cleveland, Ohio, and travel to the dregs of Indiana. Like, Indiana is kind of low class as it is, but then, like, I'm going to the low rent section of Indiana, Rochester. Oh, it's not that bad. Come on, J-Rock. Come on. All right. I know you got to stick up for your people. That's fine. But I've been there, and so have you, and we both know the truth. And this Saturday... I'm going to put on my hazmat suit and we'll put on some gloves and bring a whole bunch of hand sanitizer. I got a bunch left over from COVID and I'm going to head into Rochester and I'm going to defend my FWF heavyweight championship. Like it or not, hook or crook, I'm going to walk in the champ. I'm going to walk out the same way. Now, who is your opponent then that you'll be taking on? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. First and foremost, whoever my opponent is, I've been doing this for 24 years. There's not a place big or small that I haven't been, that I haven't performed, and that I haven't made give it up one time. And speaking of giving it up one time, my opponent Saturday is Dio Salvador. He's a feisty young fella who seems to stick his nose in my business quite a few times. Him and I have gone to blows in the past, and now the FWF has decided that he's worthy of one final title opportunity in Rochester this weekend. They wanted to give the people of Rochester, I know I know, I laughed when I heard this myself, we want to give the people of Rochester something special for our first night in the town. We want to give them a big main event. Well, it don't get no bigger than J-Rock Daddy, and I guess the old Salvador is coming along for the ride. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a good match. I mean, you mentioned that you two have some history together, and any time there's history between each other, the matches automatically become that much better. A history together, you could say that. I mean, Dio Salvador can thank yours truly for the resurrection of his wrestling career because he, just like countless others, just like people that you've seen week in and week out on your TV over the past 20 years, people like EC3 who is currently controlling his own narrative, or Shane Taylor, who was the longest reigning Ring of Honor World Television Champion of the past five years. Guys like that have come through my classes, have come through my training school, have sat under the learning tree, if you will. And Dio Salvador is just one of those guys who's brushed against greatness a little bit, and I've helped him along his path. But just like the rest of the ungrateful sons of guns, he wants to come back and try to show the big dog who's got the yap and mouth, but he's going to find out real quick that there's a reason I'm the big dog. There's a reason I'm the big daddy of destruction. There's a reason, yo, that I'm the FWF heavyweight champion. So what you're saying is Dios doesn't stand a chance against you. I just talked for five minutes and you're going to try to, so what you're saying to me? Yeah, that's right. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be Dio Salvador. It could be Dick the Bruiser Jr. It could be Brandon Day. Oh, it can't be Brandon Day because we injured him and he will never, ever, ever be seen in the FWF again. It could be that fat guy that wants to buy those tickets and sit in the front row with his ugly kids this Saturday. It could hey, be. Hey, 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 hey. There's it nothing wrong with wife. the beautiful people of Rochester. Hey, it could be his beautiful wife that's twice his size. Anybody that wants to step up, it could be Dio Salvador. It could be the people from Rochester. I'm the king of Cleveland. I'm the heavyweight champion. I'm the greatest professional wrestler walking God's green earth today. No matter who steps up. They're going to get knocked down, and they're going to give it up one time. Well, you're saying that they're going to give it up one time, but see, the problem becomes when you come to Rochester, you're coming to um, Chicago Cub territory. So a lot of these people, you're going to say you're from <laughs> Cleveland, and they're going to go, oh, so you're going to act like the World Series. Professional losers is what you're saying. 100 and, 110 years of being losers. I mean, listen. Kid, I know you live there, and I know you've got to stick up for these people, but once again, I've been there, and I regret that I have to return there again. 
All right, all right. If that's what you think, uh, we'll prove it to you this Saturday. The Rochester's a great place to be. And you know what? I think we're going to do something a little special here. And we're going to give away tickets to the FWF show this Saturday so they can come out and see you. Why are we going to do that? Why are we going to do that? Is that your way of telling me that the lovely city of Rochester is financially destitute and needs us to give them free tickets to this event. This event's going to be sold out. If they don't buy them, they can't go. Why are you trying to give people tickets? No, no, no. no. See, I want to give the people of Rochester that extra little bit of a chance to come out and boo J-Rock Daddy as he defends his title against Adio Salvador and loses. I've heard you have a lot of bad ideas, but that may quite possibly be the worst one you've ever had. Uh, well, all right, let's do this this way, then. You pick a number right now between number one and ten. A number between one? I mean, why are you going to put me on the spot? Okay, four. All right, so caller number four right now gets five tickets to go see FWF Jumpstart this Saturday and watch J-Rock Daddy lose his championship to Dio Salvador in the main event. How's that sound for you, J-Rock? Oh, I'm fine. You know what? Give away your tickets. Bring some extra people. You're going to need them all. I want all the people of Rochester to come out because all jokes aside, Rochester is a small town buried in the middle of Hickville, Indiana, and not a lot of big superstars, not a lot of big super events, not a lot of big time things ever brush near the city of Rochester. So I actually, I think that's a good idea that you give away tickets because the biggest star that's ever shown in the sky, the biggest, brightest superstar that's ever brushed near the town of Rochester is happening to come through this Saturday, this Saturday in Rochester, yours truly J rock daddy is going to come in and I'm going to shine like the bright, bright sun in the sky. And I'm going to give the people of Rochester a show like they ain't never seen before. And like I said, they're going to end just like the rest. They don't give it up a one time for your boy, the FWF heavyweight champion and uh, fellas just, Keep your ladies in check because uh, just because you don't want them don't mean I do. The divorce rate in that town is fixing to go up, just like my man Tracy Smothers used to say. So let's just keep the windows locked, keep the women and children at home, and all you ugly fellas come on out and watch me destroy the El Salvador. Now, see, it's uh, not going to be any ugly fellas out there. We're all going to come out there, and we're going <laughs> to cheer on yeah. Dio Salvador as he gets that title from you. You must live like Roddy Piper and they live. You must have those special sunglasses. And when you put them on, the people in Rochester look attractive to you. But son, that's okay. The blinders come off and J-Rock Daddy is going to reveal Rochester to the world this Saturday. Now, you know, a few minutes ago, you mentioned uh, the biggest superstar. So what you're telling me is you're a bigger superstar than former President Bill Clinton, because we actually had him in here in town and he actually stopped at our high school and talked to all of the people of Rochester for several hours. All right, kid, you just went the total wrong direction because have you seen the state of America today? Have you seen the, the world as it's devolved and just broken down into this pathetic lump of, of a world that it's become, that's because of the politician. So no politician in the world, I don't care if it's Donald Trump, I don't care if it's Bill Clinton, I don't care if it's Barack Hussein Obama himself, ain't none of them shining a candle to a real life superstar like me. All right, all right. We'll see how it turns out this Saturday at the Manitow Moose Lodge, number 1107, as you take on Dios. J-Rock, uh, thank you for your time. I, I'd Wait love to say... What the what? Manitow, Manitow Moose Lodge? Yes, sir. Is that what you said? I didn't actually know the name of the building. I don't deal with the little details. I got an agent. They take these bookings for me, and I just get an address, and then I show up at the place. The Manitow Moose I'm performing in a place called the Manitow Moose Lodge. Now I want to file a protest. I swear to God, this lady's going to get fired. The Manitow Moose Lodge? Yeah, it's uh, the Family what's Fun the Center of what's Rochester. What's a what's a moose lodge? Just I'm just curious. What in the blue hell is a moose lodge? It is a great place to come out. You're right on the lake. You get a beautiful view of Lake Manitow. You get to hang out with your friends and your family. Enjoy good well, music, you know, good food, really, great times, and a wrestling match this Saturday. 
I'm, I'm really glad that you specified that for me because here I would have showed up and just assumed that that was their wives and it's actually mooses or meese or whatever the plural for moose is. So now I understand antlers or not. Now I know what the crowd's made of. Makes sense. Sounds good to me. The Manitow Moose Lodge. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm going to fire this lady when I get off the phone. First, I got to do this stupid interview with this stupid guy. And now hey, 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 now, J-Rock. You all you. Up. I was talking about this interview I did right before I called you. Oh, okay. Oh, I wasn't uh-huh. you. Sorry, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry, yeah. man. Yeah, okay. Well, I love I, you. I love you. This is the, the, the FM morning show with the guy that I'm talking to right now. I love this guy. Well, J-Rock, I'd love to say it's been a pleasure talking to you, but uh, unfortunately, I, that'd be a lie, so I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, thanks for uh, calling in, and uh, we'll see you Saturday as you lose your championship to Dios at FWF Jumpstart. You, you come show yourself in person, and whoever won these tickets, you you come show yourself in person at the Manitow Moose Lodge uh, this Saturday in Rochester. I'll be there. You'll know me. I'm the superstar with the big shiny belt in the middle of the ring. All right, we'll see how that, the night ends for you, though. All right, well, I uh, guess he hung up, so I guess that's it for him. So 